Ladies and gentlemen, is this thing, this thing on? Oh, ow, that hurts. Uh, is this thing on? Yes, yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Anything But Exit. And today, today, it's the time we've all been waiting for. <sighs> Flycoin is finally doing... Uh, I can't say it's better than Bitcoin, but it's finally being noticed. Senpai, they're noticing you. <laughs> <laughs> A little joke there. Anyways... If you haven't been paying attention, uh, with the DC, uh, was it the DR twenties or whatever twenties, the basically NFT um, coins are coming online, and Bitcoin's getting bogged down pretty badly. But uh, forget about that. Forget about Bitcoin. Forget about Litecoin. We have to talk about Dogecoin because we can't talk about Litecoin without talking about Dogecoin, and we're not hating on Dogecoin. Dogecoin brings light to the script algorithm, which is then. Um, mostly attached to Litecoin, but uh, taking a look at the markets right now, the markets are down. They're still down. Uh, Bitcoin's had a slight recovery. Later, uh, Ethereum's had, you know, slight recovery. Whatever. But we are looking at Litecoin. Why? Because Litecoin acts as an actual currency, and this is cryptocurrency. That's the name of the game. <laughs> that is the name of the game here. Uh, Pepe, Pepe had this run. I think it's done now. Um, and not too much really else happening here. Uh, Tether Gold's losing a little bit of uh, space there, but I assume that's attached to the actual uh, price of gold, spot price of gold, and um, yeah, it's going down, but you know, it's staying stable. But we're here to talk about Litecoin. Litecoin, let's go back, is doing well, and we have been waiting forever for it to be noticed. And let's get some. You know, some speculation as to why uh, Litecoin is doing so good. And we know why Litecoin is doing so good. Because, you know, it's where Bitcoin is and it's easy to get in and out of when you need to get in and out of it. <laughs> and it's not $20 for a freaking transaction on average. There we go. <laughs> and in fact, it's less than a penny. How are people not using this more? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Who has their heads in the clouds? Who knows? And, and from a rumor, from a rumor, this is a rumor. You ready for it? Uh, the uh, U.S. government that owns 50% of the Bitcoin are finally selling some off. <gasps> surprise! 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 I know. I know. <laughs> uh, Litecoin LTC on bullish run after Lightning Network integration. I, they don't really need it. And I always thought Litecoin was on the Lightning Network, but okay, we'll go with it. Litecoin has been gaining some momentum since the start of the year with a focus on its next happening event, which is in a few months away. Litecoin is seeing a parabolic run throughout through its price today as the protocol has unveiled a major milestone underpinning the network as reported by uh, by several media, several media today. Litecoin has also integrated it, the Lightning Network as it looks to leverage the ultimate scaling solution that has helped the Bitcoin network beat its congestion woes in recent times. No, it hasn't. <laughs> the re the revelation of the Lightning Network integration has published has pushed the price of the protocol up by more than seventy percent seven percent in early Monday trading to push the spot valuation to eighty seven dollars per coin. With the price run, LTC now ha now paired off its losses for the trailing seven day period, coming off as one of the highest gainers with six percent 6.55 percent within that time frame as revealed by the litecoin protocol the integration of the lightning network has largely helped push its scalability by 100 percent what this implies is that transactions conducted on lightning on litecoin which are naturally relatively faster than that of btc can now be completed 10 times as fast and also cheaper the Lightning Network is a layer two scaling solution that is built on the Bitcoin blockchain. The deployment of Litecoin is not just a treatment, a testament to its versatility. It also depicts the flexibility of the Litecoin protocol to adapt innovations relevant to its growth. The Litecoin adoption of Lightning Network is particularly very beneficial to the crypto project scene. It serves primarily as a payment digital currency. You heard that right. It's a payment digital currency. It's a cryptocurrency. 
Litecoin's emergence and uses thus far has been confined to its use as a payment method, despite the relative growth of completion today. Cryptocurrency has maintained its relevance and is tagged as one of the four digital assets that is supported on legacy fintech platforms like PayPal Holdings Inc. Litecoin and Steady Innovation integra Integration, the broader digital currency ecosystem is evolving at a very fast pace and legacy layer one protocols are now doing all they can to broaden their influence across the board. Litecoin is not an exception in this regard as the protocol innovation is now tilting towards growth of the ordinals inscriptions as well as the introduction of LTC 20 tokens as an experimental standard for non-fungible tokens on the network. Litecoin has also been gaining some momentum since the start of the year with a focus on the next halvening event which is a few months away. While the halvening is known to historically boost price growth and its subtle introduces uh, deflation into the tokens. Experts believe that the price of like LTC will respond positively to these fundamentals in the days leading up to the happening. It, it probably hit like one hundred twenty dollars, maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Well, as a layer one protocol, Litecoin is notably going out of its comfort zone, bringing additional benefits to its users across the board. And the Lightning Network integration is major in this light. Now, um, just just as a side note, um, Litecoin is one of its bigger milestones. We're talking about big milestones here. Uh, the Mimble Windbill upgrade that actually gets rid of your Litecoin's history so they can all be the same Litecoin. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to point at that and we're going to look at Beam, which is another Mimble Wimble coin. It's doing, uh, I, I wouldn't say it's doing great, but it has bounced back. And just, just a side note, coincidence, coincidence, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just pointing it out there. Uh, let's look at Grin. I didn't look at Grin forever. I don't think Grin's probably doing all that great. Uh, uh, Grin's around the same point. Grin's around the same point. I, ne I never use Grin because it's infinite, but... I don't know if it has a burn rate. I never really got into Grin, but Beam, 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 Beam. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Get it. <sighs> All right. Well, that's enough of the like again. Um, in this next article, though, in this next article, I'm a little bit late for this one. It came out May 12th, and the absolute it's it's petty. It's the petty time. The absolute salt in this. If you read between the lines, oh, <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> Oh, Binance says farewell to Canada following new guidance implementing restrictions on exchanges. <laughs> Binance is pulling out of Canada. The world's largest crypto exchange said on Twitter that it was withdrawing from the country due to new guidance about stable coins and limits to investors. We pull off this we put off this decision as long as we could to explore other reasonable avenues to protect our Canadian users, but it has become apparent that there are none, the company said. Vanessa CEO, CEO Cheng, Cheng Ping Zhao, who was a Canadian citizen, I did not know this, retweeted the news. We would like to thank those regulators, the regulators, <laughs> who worked with us collaboratively to address the needs of Canadian users, albeit, albeit a small market. It held sentimental value for us as the home country of our founder, the exchange said. New requirements in Canada, the, the Canadian Securities Administration tightening registration requirements for crypto exchanges in February. Some of those requirements include enhanced expectations, ex, expectations, yeah, expectations regarding the custody and segregation of crypto assets held on behalf of Canadian clients and the prohibition of offering margin credit or other forms of leverage to any Canadian client. Good. <laughs> Another requirement blocks the platform from permitting clients to purchase or deposit value reference crypto assets commonly referred to as stable coins. Good. <laughs> What's next? Canadian users will receive information about how to move how the move will impact their accounts. The exchange said 
While we do not agree with the new guidance, we hope to continue to engage with Canadian regulators, the regulators, aimed at the doubtful comprehensive regulatory framework. We are confident that we will someday return to the market when Canadian users once again have the freedom to access a broader suite of digital assets. Oh, look at that salt. It's it's the salt right here. <laughs> absolute absolute butter. <laughs> Just let the butter flow. <laughs> oh man. So things did not go well for Binance in Canada and the blocking stable coins. I say good. That makes people use the actual cryptocurrency. I know I touched on this earlier. Cryptocurrency as a currency. <laughs> Instead of just running to a stable coin, you actually have to try. Um and see, not doing margarine credit. Well, you know why we're in this certain uh this uh financial uh you know place that we're in right now where we're having problems well it's kind of because of margin and definitely credit because <laughs> credit creates debt and that creates problems when people are indebted and they can't pay it back when things are uncertain especially now in current year things are uncertain <laughs> that's why i say good but if you guys caught the salt in this article let me know in the comments down below um i'll be around I'll try to do some things of course maybe try some editing <laughs> editing uh let me know what you guys think maybe litecoin will go to the moon maybe let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys some other time